Hi guys, welcome to Neon Vision, and in today's video I'm gonna be watching the entry of Sweden, which is Hold Me Closer by Cornelia Jacobs. So by the title I think that this song will also be in English, just like Sweden's every song, which I think starts to get a bit boring, because why wouldn't they show their own language? Why wouldn't they use their own language? I think they should, but, but it doesn't matter if the song is great, then... I don't have a problem with English lyrics. On the My Eurovision app, it's a fan favorite together with Spain, so everyone likes it. I don't know if I will or not, but uh, I have to say that Sweden is often overrated because it's Sweden. So I don't really know what to expect. I don't know if it will, if it's really good or it's liked because it's Sweden. But I don't want to be pessimistic because it might be one of the best songs I've ever heard. So after listening to it I will be able to tell you if I like it or not. And last year they did what they always do. They sent a super produced generic pop song I would say. There were better options in Melody Festival last year. For example my favorite was Every Minute by Eric Sade and that would be so much better. I think their result would be a lot better. And the song for me is better. But don't get me wrong. Voices was not a bad song. It was just it was just a basic pop song. And I just felt like Sweden sent the exact same song every year. Because it was nothing new. It had been done before many times by Sweden. So it wasn't new at all. And I think, for example, Every Minute would have been a so much better option. But it doesn't matter because it's 2022 and we're here for Call Me Closer and let's see what it's like. The video I'm gonna be watching is the Melody Festival and performance because I don't want to watch the music video. I want to see a live performance. So, let's watch it. Melody number 10, Hold Me Closer. Plats på scen, Cornelia Jacobs! I didn't pronounce it well. It's Cornella Jacobs. Of course, it's the only time I thought that I wanted to pronounce it in a Swedish way, but of course, it wasn't right. Of course, English. Cause there's nothing to regret. Well, this is not what I want. Guess all the good things come to an end So baby, bye-bye Wish you the best But most of all I wish That I could love you less Well, maybe you're right I'll find someone else So I definitely think that it won't be a basic pop song Just like they do it every year So at least I don't know if I like it or not But I'm sure that it's it's different from from the usual Swedish songs, so I like diversity. But when did that ever help? Hold me closer, although you leave before the sunrise. My feet bleeding, but don't you mind, I'll be fine. Oh, it kills me, I found the right one at the wrong time. But until the sunrise, hold tight, hold tight. This was the chorus. Honestly, it didn't convince me that much. Okay, 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 it's building. That's more like it. Okay, this part makes the song better, a lot better. Okay, I like her vocals. Tomorrow 
This is this will be a moment on stage. This is the best part of the song. I I like her raspy voice. I really hope it's this is what it's called, but it's really unique. It's it's unique uh, technique. So well, it's not a technique because she was probably born with this kind of voice, but but I like it. I like it and her she's talented of course. Also nice lyrics. I can understand why a lot of people like it. Oh she's happy. Like was really loud so as i said i understand why the fandom likes it but i definitely think that it's not really meant for me and by that i don't mean that i hate this song i don't like this song i don't want it to qualify because i do i do like this song it's high quality just like swedish sweden does it every year but sweden this year decided to sent a high quality song that's not the usual Swedish song so they are really different this year and I'm really here for it. I definitely think that this song will be appreciated more than Voices last year because it's unique and Sweden haven't done anything like this before so I definitely think that a lot of people will appreciate it and like it and of course it we can see the same on my Eurovision app because it's either first place or second place. Finally, not an overproduced generic pop song from Sweden. I'm really happy. I'm honestly really happy about it because I think they just needed a change and they did change and I'm happy. As I've said, this won't be one of my favorites because it's not really my style, but I like the lyrics, I like her vocals and the whole song is, is good. I don't have any problems with it. It's just the fact that there are better songs for me, and, and it's a normal thing, I think, to not love a song that everyone loves, but but like, because I like it. I don't love it, I like it. I like the quality of music, just like Sweden does it every year. I think I will give this song 7 out of 10, because I think it's a fair rating. What do you think about this song? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, then give it a like and a subscribe. You can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.